story is coming up here all about the name of political correctness. Anything that even offends people now or even appears to be symbols of the Confederacy are being threatened. Now the Atlanta chapter of the NAACP, they're calling for the iconic and intricate stone mountain carvings to be sandblasted off the face of the mountain, wiped from the pages of history. So this carving is the largest bas relief sculpture in the world. It's bigger than a football field and Mount Rushmore. Uh, it was started in 1923 and was not fully completed until 1972. And the figures were completed with the detail of a fine painting. The eyebrows, the fingers, the buckles, even strands of hair were fine carved with a small thermojet torch. Uh, but all of that means little when it's up against the purge of all the symbols of the Confederacy in this aftermath of the Charleston shootings and the hysterical knee-jerk reaction to that. Now, the NAACP has also come out saying that they want the stars and bars removed from Alabama troopers' vehicles. That's right. I mean, they're taking this all the way. Uh, the, the NAACP head there in Huntsville said, we need to do a clean sweep. And they mean to do that. So is Mount Rushmore next? Because George Washington and the others, they own slaves. Um, but he says, you know, we got to do the clean sweep of this. And so obviously this call to remove or destroy anything even remotely connected to the Confederacy is just absolutely insane. It's a crazed obsession for leftists. And um, it's not going to do anything to combat the problem of the racial divide in the U.S. Now, here is a clip from the Alex Jones show today. Paul Joseph Watson is breaking this down, as well as Larry Elder giving his opinion on the whole situation. So they're now literally calling for it to be sandblasted off the face of this mountain in the name of political correctness. This sounds like the Taliban blowing up Buddhist uh, idols. Well, exactly, Alex. I've been saying for months that so-called progressives are moving ideologically closer to ISIS terrorists because for a year, ISIS have been destroying historical statues and monuments that, quote, offend their radical ideology, which is now exactly what's happening with leftists. You know, there was a video um, about a week ago where they did a man on the street thing, this media organization, and they said, you know, Washington, D.C., it's named after George Washington. He owned slaves. Should we rename Washington, D.C.? And the majority of the people who, of course, also think that Beyonce should have the right to ban the First Amendment because of racism, said, yes, we should change the name of Washington, D.C. and call it Black City or Mixed Race City and all these other ridiculous terms. So it's actually getting to that level. Of course, we had a CNN discussion last month in the light of this Charleston shooting where they said, you know, when do we get to the point where we call for the removal of statues of Thomas Jefferson? And Don Lemon and this other host on CNN were having a rational, sober debate about actually yanking down Jefferson statues and monuments in Washington, D.C. So now they're talking about doing the same um, in Georgia. And of course, Memphis City Council, as you re reported, just voted to dig up the dead body of the Confederate General Nathan Bedford Forrest, remove, move it to a different location and sell off his statue to the highest bidder. So again, we make the point um, this is the translation of this social justice warrior mental illness that's been raging on social media for years and years. Now it's actually translating into law and physical action because politics is downstream from culture. So whatever they set up the cultural narrative to be, which after this Charleston shooting is, you know, any representation of the Confederate flag is racist and evil, they're now translating that into, into actual council votes legislature votes and laws which will physically remove from the pages of history this iconic art, whatever you think about it, just as ISIS terrorists are doing uh, across the Middle East.